Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of my Twister Retreat for the month of April. I have not received my March box. Um, they oversold on their March boxes. And so I had to wait for May to receive mine. I was one of those people pick um, to get theirs even more delayed. Because these boxes were already delayed. So yeah, but... I have my April box here, so I'm really happy because it's been a while since I received a Twister Retreat book box, and I love this subscription box, so I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and open this one. So here it is, the box. Um, so on top we have the spoiler card um, right here, so just spoilers. Okay, so the first thing we have here is a fiction bafco item which they like to feature a lot of um in their boxes here um this is inspired by silence of the lands which is just a handcrafted shower gel so i like these and it smells really good and it smells really good and yeah i like receiving um these items and then we have a Craven Manor Don't Mind the Mold Blueberry Lemonade Mix. So, yeah, there's that. I think that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try this. Um, it's a drink. Um, and it sounds good. So, <laughs> and it, it's like pink, like the powder and stuff. So, um, can't wait to try that out. That'll be kind of fun to try then we have this box here which i'm pretty sure is just our candle that we receive every single month um so let's go ahead and take that out and this is inspired by dracula so i love that so here is the little cup there um and then the little tarot card on the candle so dracula i really like that and this smells really, really good as well it smells fruity which i love um so i wonder i don't think they put the scent in here yeah they don't but i really like the smell of that one okay and then we have another box here kind of so let's go ahead and take this out okay so this is a trinket dish um which normally I don't like, but I actually like the design of this one. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, I think you can see there, there's the design. Um, normally from other subscription boxes, their trinket trays I receive are usually smaller and plastic, but this is like glass. Um, so I like that quite a bit. Um, and I like the design on this. This is really nice. Um, I wonder if it's inspired by anything. Um, it is our art, art item of the month and it was designed by typical.co's for this box. Um, yeah, so it doesn't, it's just like a tarot inspired design it says on there. So there's that. I like the design of that one. Okay. Um, and then of course we have our tarot card um, from this month that matches the candle um, that they do. So I like these. Okay. Alright, so then we have this right here, which um, it says MacBrew on it, uh, as you can see there. Not quite sure what this is, let's find out. Okay, so this is sleeve, but this comes with an either, uh, another item here, which is, I think it's this right here, but it's just like a still there's no design on it so um yeah it comes with this and then this sleeve go onto it to fit so i like that um for your drinks keeps it hot and cold it says on the spoiler card um so yeah okay so we're down to our last two items so the, we have a lighter USB right here, as you can see that. Um, 
it has a design on it. It says you're a fire starter, honey. Um, so this cool is to light up your candles. So I do like this actually. I always been wanted. I always wanted to buy one of these. So that's cool. So this is inspired by Fire Starter by Stephen King, um, and it was designed by L Y underscore Barry. Um, so yeah. I do like this item. I always wanted to buy one, but I just never did. So I'm glad it came in a subscription box. And I like the little quote and design on the actual lighter there. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so now we have our last item here, which is this coffee um, pot thing, which is pretty small. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open it and see it. I think this is like the big item for this month. Um, and it has, it's just black, and it has a design that says, if I die, at least I died for the love of caffeine. Um, so, there it is, right there, the little design. Um, I have no idea how to use this, really, um, but, yeah, um, I don't know, I guess to grind your coffee grounds, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like this. I think it's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, let's see here. So this is a Moke coffee maker. Uh, stay caffeinated with this exclusive Moke coffee maker. Simply fill the lower chamber with water, add a coffee grounds or espresso to the filter and place on stove top. Within minutes, delicious espresso will fill the top chamber of your mocha. Remove from heat and enjoy. So yeah, um, that's actually pretty cool. Um, so I gotta see how that works, but I think it'd be pretty nice and pretty cool. And I like the, the little design on there. I kind of wish it was just bigger because it's kind of small to actually see, um, but I do like this. I think it's a nice item. Um, so yeah, that's all the um, items in this box, um, I enjoy most of them. I think they're pretty good. So, yeah. So now we have the book here, which is um, Bar 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 Dark by S. A. Heron, and my dust check is damaged. So that's a little disappointing. I think this is the second time I got a damaged book from them, um, which sucks. Okay, so here is the cover. As you can see, my dust jacket is damaged. So that's a little annoying. Um, I might, hopefully they could just send a dust jacket replacement because everything else seems fine. So I'm gonna email them about that. But I love the cover. I think it's pretty close to the original or it might be the original cover uh, with just some foiling on it. But I think it looks really, really nice. Their head is fine. And then the back cover, it says everything that had happened to them had been a damn anonymously an erotic nightmare, but was it her luck or or this place? So and then we have the sprayed edges, which are pretty dark. Um, they're really dark. I really can't tell what it's supposed to be, but they're like pinkish, reddish, purple hues of it. I can't tell what it's supposed to be, but um, it, it looks cool at least, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and take out the dust jacket. So we actually do have a reversible artwork on the dust jacket this time, which is really, really nice. Um, just a skull, which I really like. I think it looks really cool with the nature um, image to it. So I do like that. Okay, but the naked hardback is absolutely Stunning with the foaming that is gorgeous. And then we have the spine there. And then the back, more beautiful foiling with the purple silver foaming of the mountains and the moons. I think this is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And I love the front of the foaming, it's so nice. I think I prefer this completely naked. Um, so yeah, actually, um, my bucket damage, not just a dust jacket. But it's not that bad. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell by there. But it's just like dented in the words. But it's not bad. But I don't know. I hate asking for a replacement. 
but we'll see. Um, so we have the inner pages here, which are nice. Um, they're the same on the back there. And then, I'm not sure if this is actually signed or if it's digital. Um, I think it might be signed, but I'm not really sure. I think it might be printed actually, but there's the book and that is this month's box. Uh, let me know your thoughts of the items in this month's book. Um, I think I might ask for a replacement. I'm not sure. I mean, it's not that bad, but I don't know. Um, I like the book. The look is, it looks really cool, but it's not my favorite that they have done. Um, especially with the sprayed edges. They look, they look good, but I just can't tell what it's supposed to be really. So, yeah. Anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts on everything. Make sure to like, comment below, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.